Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Um, today's sip, snack and show Saturday and it's an open collaboration. So everyone is welcome to join. And the host is Angela over at Angela's Halls and Lifestyle. And I know that Angela would love for you to join her and us in this open collab. Um, you can sip on whatever you like, you can snack on whatever you prefer, and you can show whatever it is you want to show. So, today, with this cute little mug that Angela actually gifted me, it says, Moms know us the best and love us the most. And Angela knows two of my favorite things are elephants and hearts. So, this, this mug was perfect, and I know when she saw it, she was like, that's got Kimmy written all over it. <laughs> so thank you, Angela. She got this for me for um, Mother's Day. Yeah, Mother's Day 2023. And I am sipping <clears throat> on blueberry green tea. And um, it's a, like it's a gift set, uh, a whole box of all these different teas. They come in these boxes. I, I'm going to actually show it on one of my Tea Tuesdays. They come in this huge box and then they're individualized in these little cute little gift boxes that you can actually reuse and um, gift to someone else, you know, put little trinkets down in there and send it out in friend mail. Um, but um, inside of it is like a like an aluminum type, uh, foil, like a foil type packaging. And then inside that is probably like, oh gosh, I'd say five to 10, pro probably 10, I've never actually counted them, uh, little tea bags um, ready for brewing, you know, just slip them down into your hot uh, water and mug and have at it. And there is tons of different flavors. And the original price on it was $19.99. Um, but when my daughter and I got it, actually last Christmas, 2022, um, but it's good. The tea is good until 2025. That's, that's the expiration date. Um, I don't know how long tea lasts after expiration. I don't know, but I'm sure we'll eventually end up using it up sometime throughout this year. But we really didn't um, break into it too much um, last year because we had some other different teas and things like that. And um, so, yeah, but it's it's got all different types of flavors. And like I said, the original price was $19.99. Um, but then they had it marked down and I think I paid just, just a few dollars, just a couple dollars for it, maybe like four, five or six dollars for it. It wasn't much at all. Um, so it was an excellent deal. I mean, honestly, even at the $19.99, the full price, whoever paid full price for them, um, really got a deal because there are tons and tons of teas in there. I forget how many is in there. Um, but yeah, tons of different flavors. So I am having a blueberry green tea. And I already had some this morning when I was reading. I sit here to read. And it's delicious. Like you can really, you can smell the blueberry as soon as you open up the packaging, but you can also um, taste it. It hits your palate as soon as, soon as it's on your tongue and it's good. But um, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. It's not huge. Oh, and then a small, uh, I want to show you guys something from Walmart. So I told y'all that when I get back and get a chance to go back over to the large store, I was going to get some of those uh, chocolate covered pretzels. So that's what I'm going to be snacking on. But I'm not going to have a lot because I had not eaten lunch yet and I do want to eat lunch. Um, but I tasted the other ones. These beat them out, guys. These are delicious. If you've not tried these, I high re highly recommend them. The, the milk chocolate on them is so much better. It tastes so much better. These are the Totally Toad Ali <laughs> snacks. No trans fat, no artificial colors, and um, no artificial flavor. And that's probably why it tastes so good, right? Uh, <laughs> Oops. Hold on, guys. Definitely don't want don't want Ruby getting a hold of that, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, chocolate coated pretzels. And so many times, it'll out stay out to the side. Um, with um, 
you know, with added flavors or artificial flavors. No, none of that. And these are good until October 26th of 2024. So, um, like I said, totally recommend them. Uh, I'm going to talk with my mouth full. <laughs> but I'll show you while I'm chewing. <laughs> nutritional facts. So while I was there, I had three bags, three bags of the chocolate. And I got one bag of the white fudge. And I know that's going to be good too. And I'm probably going to regret that I didn't get more of that, but one bag of the white fudge and three bags of the chocolate. Um, <clears throat> And then I saw these right up by the register and they're just teeny, but it's the Ghirardella chocolate. It's a milk chocolate sea salt caramel. Oh my gosh. I bought two of them. I had one last night after dinner. So delicious. Oh my gosh. Highly recommend if you like um, caramel and chocolate together, just, it just melts in your mouth. It's so delicious. <laughs> mm. Okay. So getting back to it. I also got some of the Pampa blend of soybean and extra virgin olive oil, and it's cholesterol free. We ran completely out and didn't have a backup, so I got that. It takes us quite a while to use olive oil though. It's not something that we use all the time. Um, and then I picked up in the Crafter Square section, we went in there looking for a little mini pearls. <laughs> I said mini pearl. Um, the older ones will get that. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, uh, maybe some of the younger ones that watched it with the grandparents. I, I used to watch it with my dad. Um, but anyways, <laughs> getting back to this. Crafter Square Fusible Interfacing. Um, and I told you guys my daughter has a, a sewing class this semester. So um, I figured that would be perfect for her. And then, like I said, we went in there looking for a little uh, of the teeny tiny pearls because my daughter is getting into jewelry making with me, which is so exciting because her and I can just sit at my desk and craft and make jewelry and I just love it. Um, and she she is doing an amazing job, guys. I will show that on a Tea Tuesday. Not this upcoming Tea Tuesday, but the following one. I'm gonna show that jewelry. Um, and I may even do it today, so you may even see me in the same outfit. Or I may not even get on camera. Who knows? I don't know what I'll do. But um, anyways, I'll show you guys because I'm so excited. She's doing an amazing job. So while we were there, we saw all these teeny little pearls, but they're like the iridescent. But that's okay. They're really pretty. So we went ahead and got those. And you get 100. It says 165. And then we saw these and we were like, oh my gosh, the, you get 90 of these. This really caught our eyes because it reminded us of Jade. So we were like, yeah, I mean, all of them are beautiful and they'll be beautiful on bracelets and earrings, whatever, necklaces. So we picked up two packs because they're super pretty. So 180 for 250, can't beat that. Um, we do plan here soon to go to Michael's to look around and see what they have. I'm sure we'll have a field day in there. Um, Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby, either one. Um, and then we went, we also got in the, she saw this in the crafter square and I think I had this before, but I think I gave it to someone. I either gave it to someone or, or threw it out. I don't remember, but I know I had one, but this helps you. Um, of course you can set your beads down in there, but you can also measure, um, different size necklaces with that. Um, so yeah, the bead tray. So we got that. And then, um, we went over to Walmart because we wanted to see if they had any of the tiny pearls. Um, and they did not, um, they did not, they actually don't have a very big section of, um, like the jewelry making items. They don't, they have just, I mean, at least our, our Walmart just has, sorry, I had a piece of hair. <laughs> I felt like it was going in my mouth. Um, but it, they just had just a tiny section of, um, uh, of like the beads and things like that. They don't have a whole lot, but we did find these. These are the glass bead mix. And uh, it says bulk pack. And I mean, it looks like it has a little bit of everything. So I'm sure we can have a lot of fun with these. So we got this. And I think that was seven something, like 787. And then we also got another pair of these. Um, because 
we're kind of switching off like she'll be uh, making some and then I'll have to wait for her or vice versa she'll have to wait for me so I said I'm gonna get two pairs that way we can both work together on our jewelry making at the same time <laughs> so and then we're also going to get another one um so the, I think these are like the needle nose but there's another one um that I wrote down I can't remember the name of it but I wrote down that we want to get but yeah so that is my Dollar Tree slash tiny Walmart haul. <laughs> I actually had some other Walmart things, but we already had put them away. It's not, it wasn't a whole lot. Um, and so, yeah. Thank you, Angela, for having this uh, wonderful collab and hosting this wonderful collab and starting it. And um, please go check out Angela and everyone else in this open collab. And we hope that you join us. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. And until next time. Bye, y'all.